Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 App State Baseball Media Day press conference. Uh, head coach Kermit Smith is with us, along with Luke Drumheller, who was a first-team all-conference selection after the 2021 season, and Austin St. Laurent, who was the freshman of the year in the Sun Belt after the 2022 season. Uh, just announced this morning, uh, we will be streaming 22 home baseball games this season, so we're excited for that. And this team has won now a tournament game in each of the last two seasons. Uh, so excited for the year, just two weeks away from opening day. And with that, uh, Kermit Smith will begin with an opening statement, and then we'll open things up to questions. Yeah, number one, just thank everybody for coming out today. Um, you know, appreciate you guys being here. Excited to get the year kicked off. Uh, especially excited to kick it off down in Hickory. Obviously, our footprint is about to get a lot, our university's footprint is about to get much larger in Hickory. Um, the support we got when we were down there last year just for our game, our midweek game against UNC Asheville, was phenomenal. So I think, you know, expect a lot of crowd support down there. Um, I think when you come off a year like we came off, um, highest RPI finish we've had in the last nine years since 2013 uh, I think uh, we finished the year 113 and just that trend uh, you know over the last six years has continued to go down upwards um, you know and just when when you watch the trend, uh, not only on the field, but then you, when you watch the trend um, in the stands and the support that we got from our fan base is just phenomenal. Obviously, when you know we see behind you know behind the curtain on season ticket sales and what they've done over the last six years, you see the attendance numbers that we had last year, um, and just you know coming out of uh, such an uncertain time of COVID and and those things and all the protocols of 21, um, just to see our stadium full in 22 was just it was awesome to watch out and I know I know Luke can can speak to that um, being here for five years now um, and just the the overall fan support and engagement that we had um, last year was phenomenal um, you know we finished a couple of projects late in the season last year and even into the summer at our facility which I think is um, a, a huge huge positive for our program we, we finished a batter's eye in center field uh, with, uh, with about two weeks left in the season last year we got a new scoreboard over the over the off season and we got a new uh, seating terrace behind our first base dugout that's going to uh, have awesome fan engagement areas for anybody that comes out to continue to support us. Um, you know, when I think when you start talking about, you know, putting half a million dollars into your facility in, in an off season, that's obviously um, a huge talking point. So, you know, just when you, when you start looking at the trends and where we're heading and, you know, the people that we have in our locker room, it's a really, really exciting time to be a Mountaineer. All right, with that, we'll open things up for questions. How you guys doing? Um, what can we expect this season with the new additional pieces App State has brought to this organization from the off season? Yeah, it, so I think that's a um, that, that, that's such an intriguing question in this climate, right? College athletics is continuously changing, you know, and I, I think we've evolved really well with that. You'll see a good blend. We brought in 15 returners or 15 newcomers, uh, five of which came out of the high school ranks, five of which came out of junior college, and five of which came out of the portal. Um, and I think that you know all of them in their own capacity will make an impact. Um, so I think that it was a good blend of what we have returning and what we brought in um, and I think that we were able to, able to address a lot of needs that we had um, you know through junior college and through the portal um, but but we brought in a really good high school class as well and I think those are guys that are going to be sprinkled in um, and have uh, as good a chance to make an impact as anybody else they'll, they'll play some pretty critical roles in what we do um, you know one if you kind of look back and just you know our, our postseason press conference last year one of the things that I was really passionate about at that point that we've really hammered home throughout the fall and early spring is just how fast and physical we want to be, right? Um, not only fast from a standpoint of our talents and our abilities, but um, how much effort we're putting forth on the baseball field, right? And you're going to see the team that plays really, really hard, uh, and you're going to see a team that's really gotten after it in the weight room. We want to be fast and physical in everything we do. Uh, and then one caveat that comes in with the backside of that is just our overall toughness, um, which I think is a byproduct of you know, wanting to play hard when you get onto the field and the, doing the work behind the scenes in the weight room. Um, but I think you'll see a team that uh, competes on the mound. Uh, I think you'll see a really good defensive unit that we're going to run out there. And I think from an offensive side, you're going to see a physical group that uh, enjoys playing the game and, um, and plays it the right way. Thank you. 
Coach, you said that Luke's coming back for his fifth year, and you've got five guys who are in that situation, uh, fifth-year seniors. How do you think that sets the tone for this group to have those experienced guys in the locker room? Yeah, and I think specifically for the guys that did it, right? Um, you know, I think there's multiple reasons that you can choose to do something like that, right? Um, you know, extend your graduation, come back to get another diploma, get your master's degree, or whatever you're, you're choosing to do academically there. Uh, I think the thing that makes th these five unique is their rationale for coming back, right? And that they're coming back to win a championship, right? They're coming back to leave Appalachian State baseball better than they found it they're coming back to compete on the field and put put us in a, in a place in the Sunbelt Conference that we haven't been yet um, and you know it's funny the things that they have accomplished since they've been here you know uh, as Matt re referenced earlier we've won you know conference tournament games and back-to-back -back seasons you know up till you know five years ago they'd never even been to a Sunbelt tournament right so not only did we go to one in 19 we've won a game in 21 and 22 um, and obviously we're not there just to win a game or just to qualify for it but they, they've accomplished some things along the line that, that um, you know, they just want to accomplish something bigger, right? So I think that when you're talking about, um, you know, that 3,000 foot view of looking down and saying, okay, well, what is it? Yeah, you have another opportunity to play baseball. You're obviously at a great university. You're obviously going to get a great education and you're, you're continuing to push yourself there. Um, but you're coming back for a bigger reason than that. And that's external, right? And that, I think that that's the, that's the most impressive part. So the impact that it has, um, I, I think it could have both impacts this specific these five guys um yeah it's it's had a huge impact thank you luke a couple questions for you so obviously you've been here a while um how have you seen the app state baseball program grow over the last five years and can you walk us through your decision to stick around for one more yeah honestly um at first the the decision to come back was was tough and i didn't know whether i wanted to start working and or uh, continue to play ball and then after making the decision to come back, I, I realized, like, why did I even sit and think about this? Like Coach Smith said, like, all us guys that decided to come back for our fifth year, we realized that we have an opportunity to take this team to an even higher level and go compete for another championship. So I think that played a huge part in uh, deciding to come back. And, and to address your question about the changes that we've seen, I mean, you can see the field, the facilities, everything that we've put into it, like, has come a long way. Um, the, the fan support that we've had through the years has just grown and grown, and we're just grateful for everything that we've got. Awesome. And uh, another question for you, Luke. What makes this year's team unique compared to the other four that you've been a part of here? Um, I would say one of the biggest things that uh, makes this team unique is, is player -led, uh, the fact that we're team-led, player-led. Um, some guys have come out and really just taken leadership roles, and it's been good for us. Austin, you had a wonderful uh, freshman year, uh, freshman All-American, and like uh, Matt said, um, Sunbelt Freshman of the Year. So um, what are your goals for uh, this next season and how to build on that success from last year? Uh, first and foremost, uh, our main goal as a team is go to Omaha. That's, that's what we strive to do every day. Uh, obviously go out, win a Sunbelt Championship, and win more than just a couple games in the tournament. Uh, be together as a team, uh, win as many games as possible, and that's that's the main goal for us. Great. And uh, Coach Kermit mentioned that there's a lot of new faces. Can you describe the team chemistry so far throughout preseason, heading into uh, the next couple of weeks? Yeah, it's been it's been phenomenal seeing some of these new guys come in that have never got the opportunity to be in front of a great crowd, and the fact that we get to see the stands full in two weeks is, is phenomenal. The, the amount of fan engagement every game that we've had last year and even leading into this year with season ticket holders, and it's, it's going to be a great experience for these younger guys. And these guys that we got through the portal, they're just they're good men, and they get to be around other good men. And our, our camaraderie is amazing. The locker room is a place to be in right now. Awesome. Uh, Coach Kermit, um, talking about Austin's success from last year, he played some time at first base and also at shortstop. Can you, uh, I guess, give us a glimpse of where he's going to place in the lineup this year as well as the rest of your starting lineup? 
Yeah, we can just go through our text thread together um, when I tell him each day where he's playing the next day. Um, so, yeah, I think one thing that is, you know, awesome about having uh, athleticism on your team is people can play different places. Um, and I think a, a, a credit to him and, um, you know, a credit to a lot of these guys kind of in reference to what you're is they just want to win, right? Like it's, it's really just an attitude of, uh, Coach, what do you need from me today um, for us to be our best? And I think when you start having Having people, you know, communicate like that and, you know, give them themselves like that, uh, I think then you're, that's when you're really talking about, you know, transcending a lot of things, you know, your locker room culture, locker room identity, whatever those things are. Um, and going back to that, kind of to hit, uh, to talk about Austin's answer there is um, the humility of a lot of those guys that came in that have come into this and give themselves to whether it's a leadership role or uh, allowing themselves to be led or what have you, uh, they do, they've done a really good job. Like what he's said there was was spot on like you you wouldn't walk out right now and be able to say okay that's a newcomer and that's a returner You're, you would just walk out right now and say oh he, he plays baseball at App State and I, I think that from that standpoint that's probably the biggest compliment I can give but very selfless um, I think a lot of our team is is very similar to that hey coach do you need me to pitch today hey coach do you need me to play second today hey, you know so um, I, I think I think that selfless quality is is alive and well with a lot of a lot of our people in our locker room that's great last question um so like matt said we got a tourney win the last two seasons what does this team need to do this season in order to make the next step to get a little uh deeper into the playoffs uh, I, I, hopefully we're, we've addressed it to this point you know i think that uh the the, the two the two points that i just brought up uh, previously, you know, playing playing fast, which in other words, playing hard. Um, you know, being phys being more physical than we've been in the past. Um, you know, not just the work in the weight room, but the work in recruiting. Um, you know, I, so so much of what we needed to do. Um, We've, we've tried to address, right? Whether it's, um, you know, Coach Johnson out recruiting, uh, adjustments we need to make in the bullpen, adjustments we need to make in our training, adjustments we need to make in the weight room, um, adjustments we need to make in the locker room from a leadership standpoint. Um, you know, and I, and I think it, back to an, an earlier question, you know, when, when you got five guys decide to come back to, you know, uh, leave the program better than they found it. Um, I think that sets the tone for a lot. So, you know, regardless of what's asked from that point on, um, that, that foundation's been set when guys make that decision. Um, so, uh, so a lot of the things that we needed to do um, have just been a part of our, our daily life, right? Um, less excuse making, less complaining, uh, more effort, um, playing faster, uh, getting more physical players here. Um, and those are things that not only happen from our coaching staff standpoint, going out and working and assessing who we're bringing in, um, but once they get here, uh, the implementation of that accountability. Um, this question could be for any of the three of you or all of you. Um, the Sun Belt adding, you know, some new teams, in particular Southern Miss, that really has a storied baseball history, um, to a league that's already been really strong, you know, the last several years. What do you look forward to in playing, you know, that high level of competition? And, um, and what do you think it will take to, you know, make it to Omaha, which you've stated are your goals? Yeah, I think first and foremost, it just starts with the fact that it's it's been an elite league uh, before these teams have come in. Um, so I don't think that that idea of week in, week out, weekend out, you know, that that's going to be tough competition, right? Like it's it's always been that, um, you know, to step it up a notch. You know, I've I've just always said like the only way that you can. Um, the only way that you could accomplish a goal as great as you know getting to Omaha is by being in the regional, right? So, uh, whenever you're in a, a league like this, uh, where you don't necessarily have to win the league to go on to the postseason, I think that any time that you're in that environment, it's a positive thing, right? Is um, you look across, I think Coastal hosted in 19, uh, I think um, Old Dominion hosted in 21. We didn't have a regional in 20 in 2020. Um, Southern Miss hosted in 21 and 20 and Georgia Southern hosted last year. So you got four hosts, four regional hosts in our conference right now 
that have hosted a regional over the last three seasons that we've sponsored regionals in the NCAA. Um, not to mention we had four uh, bursts last year, um, which is, uh, you, you start talking about that, then you're talking about a multiple bid league um, and where we're going to rank RPI and everything else. Uh, for me, it's exciting. Uh, you know, That's what you want to do. That's what you uh, come to work for every day is to play against the best and to know that you're doing it within your own conference. I think we were finished sixth best RPI league in the country last year and with the addition of uh, Southern Miss and Old Dominion and Marshall and JMU, I mean, I would I would have to think that we'd be in the top five. This is a question for um, all you. Uh, so last season, your team's ERA was a combined 5.96. How do you look to improve on that and um, capitalize on those statistics? We got no pitchers up here, so I'll take another one. Um, uh, give up less runs, um, but uh, no, I, I think that you know. Back to a question of what what do we need to do um, to not just win one game in the tournament, right? Like how do we how do we make a deep run and even. Prior to that question, right? Like, how do you put yourself in, in a, a, a better a regular season category? Um, I, I think all of those things. Uh, it, it's the, there's not one area that it's like, hey, here's the answer. It's it's in recruiting. It's in development. It's in the weight room. It's in everything that we do. So um, it's it's a long answer, right? To to bring in good pitchers, right, with a good foundation of what we believe in. Um, you know, I, we're very fortunate to have a lot of. Um, tools at our disposal in terms of the development of pitchers. I've uh, got a great pitching coach um, and I think just the overall work and um, you know the 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 standard that that wants to be set for what we want to accomplish. Um, so uh, probably too long of an answer uh, to give you but I think all of those areas uh, that I answered the question previously recruiting development um, choice of who we're bringing in out of the bullpen choice of role um, you know making sure that you know our best pitchers are pitching at the end of the season healthy uh, I think that those are things that you know are, are kind of in that wheelhouse of everything that we do every day um, so we're just constantly trying to put the right person on the mound uh, in the right situation so that they, they can be the best they're capable of being which makes us the best we're capable of being any other questions all right, that will conclude the 2023 App State Baseball Media Day. Thank you guys for being here, and thanks everyone who asked questions here today. Thank you.